Teresa. Oh, hey, what's up? What's up? How many laps are you doing? No, you, I'm you... just doing my cool down. Okay. Jogging a couple of laps. Okay, so we're not going crazy four no. minute miles, nothing like no, that. No, we're going super slow. All right, all right, let's 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 chat a little bit. You down? Yeah, of all course. All right, let's go. Ready? All right, everybody, we are joined by the one and only Teresa Hagee. <laughs> Teresa, how are you? I'm doing good. How are you doing? Doing well, doing well. So tell the people out there a little bit about where you grew up and why you got into running. Okay, cool. So I'm from Akron, Ohio. It's like kind of northeastern Ohio a little bit. And uh, I got, I started running actually, I think my, in the fourth grade. And I joined because my best friend at the time was running and I was like, oh, I want to be with her. So. <laughs> decided to join too and see what it's all about. When did you feel like you were getting really good at the sport? Uh, honestly, in my fifth grade year, that's the first time I ever ran cross country. And I played soccer my entire life before that. Uh -huh. So I kind of had like a little bit of like an endurance buildup from that. Sometimes you have to do it by yourself and it's mentally, it's, it's sometimes challenging. Yeah. Did you have any tough moments or challenges early on in your running career? Uh, Back in high school, my sophomore year, I got a stress fracture in my left metatarsal. And coming back from that was a little rough because it was a long recovery process. And I had to do a lot of cross training yeah. and all the things that aren't so fun, but it definitely helped me like mentally. Yeah. For sure. That's great. And now you're here at Ohio. You've been here yes. for a little bit. Why did you come here? What made you want to come to, to Athens. I mean, this place is beautiful. It is beautiful. That was not honestly one of the main reasons. And I love the girls on the team. Coaches were great. It just seemed like an overall, like, just great atmosphere to be in. So tell us a little bit about your team. Coming off a really good cross country season, mm -hmm. runner ups in the max, yeah. and then you third overall <laughs> in the max. Yeah, let's talk about it. Third overall yeah. in the 10K for outdoor track and field this past spring. So. Yeah. Let's first start about your team. What's What should people know about your team? Uh, we are definitely a very close-knit team. We push each other every day, and it makes showing up to practice so much more fun. And just to be able to like, run for your teammates makes it a lot easier yeah. as well. That's amazing. Now you yourself, where do you feel like you have grown the most as a runner from when you got here to right now? Honestly, probably mentally, my love for the sport has just continued to grow since I've been at Ohio, which makes me want to show up to practice every day, willing to like do anything I can to help out my team and just be the best I can. Mentally, you talk about that area being your biggest part of growth. So when you're running, like what goes through your mind? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, this is funny. When I run, I kind of zone out a lot. And I kind of just like run to run, which like kind of like relaxes me. And I kind of use running as like an outlet to like relieve my stress and all like my anxiety from like school. Yeah. And just like every day. When you run without your team and you're just doing like solo training, do you listen to music or podcasts? Uh, honestly, I'm more of a podcast okay. person. Which podcast you got? You got rolling. <laughs> Uh, I listen to one called Plan Brew Uncut. It's kind of just like one about like gossip and like celebrities <laughs> and stuff like that. Yeah. It keeps my mind off running, which helps. Yeah. Any others or uh, that's the main one? That's the main one. Gotcha. What's your favorite snack before a long run? For a long run? Uh, I like to keep it simple. Usually just like a granola bar or a banana, something easy like that. I can just grab and go. What about? If you could pick three people in the world, the entire world, oh. they don't have to be runners, <laughs> to do a long run with you, which three people in the world That's would you pick? That's a great question. Honestly, I'm going to go with people that are going to keep me entertained during this long run. <laughs> I'm going to go with Kanye. Okay. This might be a hot take, but Kanye. <laughs> We're going to go with, uh, let me think of who else. Maybe Harry Styles, just because I love him. Okay. And then she'll be playing again because I look up to her. Nice. And what way do you look up to her? She, I've just been following her for a while now, like throughout her running career. And she also has come out with like a cooking book 
which I've gotten and like have like this she just inspires me a lot overall. That's amazing. Are you are you gonna do a marathon one day? <laughs> we'll see about that. <laughs> we will see. All right, let's go back to Ohio a little bit. Your head coach, Sarah Peace. Yes. What has she taught you the most about running or about life? Uh, honestly, that hard work pays off. That eventually, like, putting in the work every day may not seem like it in the moment, but eventually it'll pay off in the long run. What about your goals for the 2023 cross country season and into track season? What are mm. some goals that you have in mind personally? Honestly, just to stay healthy and put myself in the best position to help my team and just show up every day. This is a nice conversational pace. <laughs> you probably couldn't do this if you were running like a five minute mile. No, <laughs> I wish I could. Do you, when you think about like the different distances that you race or train with, what is your favorite? What's your like sweet spot distance? Uh, honestly, the 6K. Okay. And that's what you'll be doing this fall. Yeah, so perfect. <laughs> there we go, there we go. All right, last question. Do you have any advice that you'd like to share to any? All right, here we go. Ready? <laughs> Boom. Any advice that you'd like to share to future Bobcats or current? You mentioned some of the freshmen yeah. uh, Bobcats that you like to share. Probably just going back to the hard work thing. Just show up every day, put in the work, and that just know that it's going to pay off in the long run for sure. Mm. Hard work. Thanks for joining me. Yeah, we did some hard work today. <laughs> Thanks to everyone for joining us. Again, that's Teresa Hagee. I'm Sam Hyman. Go Bobcats. Yes.